Hi there, my name is Lee Neville and I am the Maths and English Curriculum Manager at East Coast College. Part of my job is to oversee the qualifications that we run across Lowestoft and Great Yarmouth campuses. But enough of that. What I'm really here to tell you today is, is or to give you a flavour of what we can do for you when you join us at East Coast College in the summer. I'll tell you a bit about what my staff and I can do for you, as well as just outline some of the expectations that we ask you to consider before joining us. Now, no doubt you've heard this all before, but achieving a good standard of English and maths is a key requirement to any job, all jobs, that you will happen to experience in your lifetime. We believe at East Coast College that English and maths is at the heart of everything that we do. So just think about this. English and maths isn't just about qualifications. It's about managing home budgets. It's about applying for that job and creating that perfect CV and covering letter. So English and maths is everywhere and everything to all of us. So let's just think about it a little bit more. If you don't get those qualifications, it's not the end of the world because we can help you. But if you don't get those qualifications by the end of the time with us, it might have an impact on the careers that you want to join. It might even stop you from moving on to the courses that you want to do the following year. Now, if I can't convince you with that, think about this. Employees who achieve a good level of GCC grades, especially in English and maths, are more likely to earn at least £2,000 more than those that don't have those good levels of English and maths. True story. But moving on, let's now just give you a flavour of what we expect of you and you expect from us. If you are lucky enough to come into the college with at least a grade four or a grade C in English and maths in the summer, then you will not need to do any more qualifications in English and maths, although there will still be continued learning in English and maths in your vocational delivery. If you get a grade three, you will then need to do GCSE with us once more. We'll have November first attempts as well as summer attempts and we use AQA. Now we will be expecting you to join us to, for two lessons a week in each subject and each of those are an hour and a half long. If you come in with a grade two or lower, we can consider a different course, something called functional skills. We offer one and a half hours at a time and we do one of those a week at a time too. These offer more flexible assessments and we get quicker feedback so you can do them multiple times during the year. And the most important thing I want to emphasise is that we kind of know that English and maths isn't your preferred option when you come to the college, but we will do everything we can to help you. So if you are aware of significant barriers or learning difficulties that you have that you've been assessed for at school or you might think you need to be assessed for then you tell us you tell your teachers you tell your your parents and we will do everything we can to help you we'll even try to then put in arrangements as quick as we can to give you every opportunity and lastly i want you to consider this our esteemed prime minister boris johnson once said that even footballers need maths and English skills so that they can read their complicated contracts and count all of their money. And joking aside, if you really are worried and if you really are struggling at any given point in your career at East Coast College, then you tell us. You tell me, you tell your teachers, you inform your parents or anyone that you want to so that we can try and help you be the best that you can be. But enough of that and enough of me. We will see you in the summer. I look forward to meeting you all. And remember, we have a course for everyone and it doesn't matter if you're coming to our college if you don't have the right qualifications to begin with.